Let's denote the given integral by i. Now this integral can be broken into two components. The first component is equal to integral minus pi to pi 2x dx upon 1 plus cos square x. And the second component is equal to plus integral minus pi to pi 2x sin x divided by 1 plus cos square x dx. Let's denote the integrand of the first integral by fx. And let's denote the integrand of the second integral by gx. Now f of minus x is equal to 2 times minus x divided by 1 plus cos of minus x whole square. Cos of minus x is equal to cos x and therefore f of minus x is equal to minus 2x upon 1 plus cos square x which is equal to minus of f of minus x. In other words fx is an odd function and therefore using properties of definite integral integral minus pi to pi fx dx is equal to 0. Now we move on to the second component of the integral i and evaluate g of minus x which is equal to 2 times minus x times sine of minus x divided by 1 plus cos of minus x whole square. Sine of minus x is equal to minus sine x and cos of minus x is equal to cos x. Therefore g of minus x is equal to 2x sine x upon 1 plus cos square x which is equal to gx. In other words gx is an even function. And therefore using properties of definite integral the value of integral minus pi to pi gx dx is equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi gx dx. Therefore the given integral i is equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi 2x sin x dx upon 1 plus cos square x. And this is equal to 4 times integral 0 to pi x sin x dx upon 1 plus cos square x. Let's call this result 1. Now recall a property of definite integrals that integral 0 to a h x dx is equal to integral 0 to a h of a minus x dx. Using this result, the integral i can be expressed as 4 times integral 0 to pi and in the integrand replace x with pi minus x. So we get pi minus x times sine of pi minus x divided by 1 plus cos square pi minus x. Sine of pi minus x is equal to sine x and cos of pi minus x is equal to minus cos x. And therefore i is equal to 4 times integral 0 to pi pi minus x times sine x in the numerator and 1 plus cos square x in the denominator dx. Let's call this result 2. Now adding results 1 and 2, on the left hand side we get 2i and the right hand side we have 4 times integral 0 to pi, taking sine x common in the numerator, multiplied by x plus pi minus x and the denominator we have 1 plus cos square x. x cancels in the brackets in the numerator of the integrand and therefore this equation simplifies to i is equal to 2 pi times integral 0 to pi sine x dx upon 1 plus cos square x. Now let cos x is equal to t. Taking the derivative of both sides we have minus sine x dx is equal to dt. And when x is equal to 0 the lower limit of integration t is equal to 1. And when x is equal to pi the upper limit of integration t is equal to minus 1. Therefore i is equal to 2 pi times integral t going from 1 to minus 1 minus dt divided by 1 plus t square. Reversing the limits which introduces a minus sign which cancels with the minus 1 in the integrand i is equal to 2 pi times integral minus 1 to 1 dt upon 1 plus t square. This is equal to 2 pi times tan inverse t with the limits being minus 1 and 1. Putting in the limits the value of i is equal to 2 pi times in brackets pi upon 4 minus of minus of pi upon 4 which simplifies to 2 pi times pi upon 2 and therefore the value of the given integral is equal to pi square which is the required answer.